so then what was the concept for modern collective and who got behind you and supported that project modern collective came off the back of stranger than fiction which i worked very hands-on um and I was, I edited, I, end, I ended up editing the whole film. Like I was kind of hired just to be a cameraman. And then I started editing and I edited that whole film. I was sitting next to Taylor. We were kind of working together. He was writing all the scripts and kind of like piecing it together. And he'd, I'd just be cutting people's sections. He'd come check the music and everything and thumbs up, change this, do this. Like just, he's just the director. Um, and um, it was great working relationship and I don't know if he, I also was introducing him to a lot of new guys too, like, and kind of pushing some crew on him. Um, and he could see that I was, had a really good working relationship with that kind of next crop of surfers um, outside of his core, core generation. Um, even younger than there was like it was his core generation. Then there was probably a, an older, maybe an old, like the Jamie O'Briens or whatever. And then under that, there was like the next guys who were very young from, you know, the Dusties, the Julians, the Dion's, the, you know, Dane was still there, but he was like thrusted into stardom at a very young age. So he was already up here. Um, and yeah, I can only assume that he probably didn't want me to go off and do something. He was just like, Hey, the next project, like what do you want to do kind of just gave me a bit of a blank canvas and he helped fund it and he helped he helped me yeah get the get modern collective off the ground and he was amazing he was super hands off he kind of trusted my vision which is pretty massive looking back because it was kind of very different um so yeah super thankful he kind of took a gamble and um helped produce that film because yeah it it could have could have sunk who knows you know what i mean like and yeah. i was lucky that people were receptive and and they were into it kind of definitely huh. set me off on a bit of a journey do you remember what the concept was for the film yeah i remember clearly um i remember i had the name i had the surfers i had the basic premise of you know i after working with so many surfers and parts i noticed that not that it's a new formula, but I was like, these guys are surfing so good in sessions and there's so much there's so much to kind of show in and around just the the hammer clip. And I wanted to put my kind of different sort of look and feel on that that experience. And I think it's going back to, you know, when I was watching surf films and um as if you are just trying to, you know, have that special source in the film that just you know it's it seems more than just surfing it's kind of like those old quickie films and and bill long films and you know when those guys are in the mental eyes you're like is this a fantasy like what is this these guys are like they're just kind of i don't know they're like rock stars so yeah i knew i wanted to do trip based showcase the trips six surfers potentially like only six trips have three guys on each trip and i wanted it to be pretty fucking futuristic <laughs> like pretty out there with the look and feel so it was it was pretty i had a, i had a, I had the vision before we even did the first trip which is good some films haven't been like that you kind of like you build it throughout but that one was pretty yeah i was i was kind of once he gave me the keys to, to start shooting i was ready to roll um I think it's important to kind of dissect how that business model has changed. So I don't know if you're comfortable sharing what the budget was for mm. that first film or if you even remember what it was. Good question. I'm going to say it was, I don't even, it was, it wasn't much. It was probably like 150 to 200. So 150 to 200,000 bucks to take six trips and the surfers yeah. around the world for about a year. Uh, and it's also to Taylor had like a very, he was so respected within the industry. Brands knew exactly what the surfers got out of, a, of being in a Taylor Steel film. So he was just paying pretty much my weight and the surfers, the brands were expected to kind of carry some of the load for their, their top guys if they're in the film. So, you know, I can't, I mean, I can't remember the figure exactly. And I wasn't, 
I wasn't really in charge of that part of it, but I was, I was getting kind of groomed in the business side of things alongside Taylor. And I had like an open ear on that too. Um, Cause he was very savvy in the business. Even I feel like that's, that was a, such a strength of his, um, the way he worked with, with brands and surfers and funding. And he, he liked to spend a little and, you know, make sure that he was recouping some funds in the film and obviously through sales because sales was starting to taper off then too. Um, so I think, I think, yeah, the budgets weren't crazy. You know, we weren't spending, Trilogy was a different project, but, like, we weren't spending half a mil, like, you know, to make this film. Right. And the the recoup is through, at that time, it was per unit sales mm. at 30 bucks a pop. And the brands offset a lot of the cost, obviously, just for the exposure, essentially. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Modern Collective, like, how many covers did those guys get in Surfing Mag and surfer and waves stabbed like the exposure for the for the guys in the films is pretty massive 